I researched for hundreds of hours on YouTube about learning how to code and start my programming journey. And in this video, I am excited to share this with you. So watch the video till the end if you don't want to miss any information. The first question many beginners face is which programming language should I start with? Among the many options, I highly recommend Java. Why? Well, it's versatile, widely used in the industry and it was my gateway into the world of coding. Python is another fantastic choice for its readability and simplicity. But whichever you choose, the key is to stick with it and build a solid foundation. Do you need to be a math whiz to learn coding? Absolutely not. While math can be helpful in certain areas of programming, it's not a prerequisite. All you need is logical thinking and problem solving skills, which can be developed with time. There are fantastic free courses out there to kickstart your coding journey. Harvard's CS50 is a gem, covering the fundamentals of computer science. Another excellent platform is Free Code Camp, providing hands-on experience and a supportive community. Also, there is a great book called Think Python by Alan Downey, which I read and is fantastic for beginners in Python. On to the practical side, platforms like Lead Code offer a vast array of coding problems to solve. It's a great way to enhance your problem-solving skills and prepare for technical interviews. Begin solving problems with the easy tags. Understanding data structures and algorithms is crucial. It might sound daunting, but it's like learning ABCs of coding. Websites like Geeks for Geeks and HackerRank provide interactive challenges to keep your keep you grasp these concepts. In conclusion, the fastest way to become a software developer or coder is to be extremely curious about the field and step out of your comfort zone. The motivation to get into coding shouldn't be just money, as that may lead to losing motivation and being stuck doing one thing for the rest of your career. Technology changes very quickly, and to keep upskilling yourself and staying relevant, you need to be curious about technology, finding problems around you that can be solved with technology and working work on solving them. Learning to code can be a difficult task, but remember, confusion is part of programming. And experience is the name everyone gives to their mistakes.